Hello friends and neighbors, welcome to Gentry Vintage. I am Josh, your host. I do hope this video finds you well. Well, if you're watching this today, I put this video out. Happy Friday. I didn't have a whole lot to talk about today. I just mainly wanted to jump on here and say howdy and uh, just ramble with you for a few minutes. So today I am smoking, uh, once again, my Peterson 305 system standard. And uh, in it today, we actually have some, well, what did I do with it? Mm. I don't know if you can read this. Got me a sample uh, a few weeks ago of a uh, Bill's Blend from the Country Squire. Um, I haven't been smoking a whole lot of aromatics lately, but uh, I picked up a couple aromatics that I thought the wife might enjoy since she's been uh, playing around with uh, trying some aromatics a little bit. And uh, as I was getting her some, I grabbed a couple of aromatics that I had been wanting to try from the Country Squire, and Bill's Blend was one of them. And uh, I must say, it is a, uh, like I said, I haven't been smoking a whole lot of aromatics recently, but every now and then you just kind of want something simple and something that tastes good. And, um, Bill's Blend, I must say, is a, a good choice. It's a very mild vanilla uh, aromatic, obviously, but uh, it's it's nice. I, I forget what's in it. Uh, maybe I, I, I'd have to look it up again. But <laughs> Black Cavendish and uh, Burley, I believe, and a little vanilla topping on it. But it's a, it's a nice blend, I must say. Um, I was also trying it because We're actually going out of town in the morning for a uh, overnight trip to visit some friends and uh, I was also want to take a little something with me that might not be uh, I know part of the day tomorrow afternoon evening we're gonna be around a lot of people and I was trying to think of something that wasn't very uh, atrocious smelling wise something that you know people may not be offended by and then my wife reminded me that my buddy that's gonna be uh, there also smoke cigars and uh those are quite pungent <laughs> so i guess it really doesn't matter but it, but uh you know I was, I was trying to be considerate of those around me i just i've been getting lately so much into uh virginia perique blends and uh, stuff like that that I, I just haven't really smoked a whole lot of aromatics lately I tend to uh, my two my two go tos during the week is probably the last two reviews I've done, um, Escudo, Navy Deluxe, and uh, H H Burley Flakes seem to be kind of my back and forth go tos throughout the week. Along with oh, speaking of speaking of along with, I finally did it. Yep. I took the plunge and got the tub of Carter Hall. Um, Carter Hall, as I've said before, is pretty much my go-to every day. So uh, usually in the afternoons when I get home from work, I usually have a bowl of Carter Hall. And then sometime in the evening after supper and everything, I might have some uh, Escudo or H.H. Burley Flake or you know something like that, something a little, you know, a little heavier, uh, a little more I don't know, a little heavier, I guess, but, uh, but yeah, I took the plunge. Um, I don't know how well these tubs, I haven't even took the cellophane off of it yet. I don't know how well these seal. Uh, my guess is probably not very well, but, uh, I guess I start, need to start figuring out how I'm going to, uh, jar this up to keep it from drying out on me. Cause I, like I said, I, I'm sure the lid on this probably doesn't seal very well. But uh, yeah, I need to figure out now how to how to jar up 14 ounces, I reckon. <laughs> but yeah, I, I've been looking at it and uh, the wife finally said the other night, she said, you might as well just go ahead and buy it. You know you like it, you smoke it pretty much every day. 
she said, we might as well do it. So, uh, thanks to Pallet and Piper, I am, uh, I won't say addicted, because addicted wouldn't be the right word, but uh, thanks to Pallet and Piper, I love my Carter Hall. It's his fault. Thanks, Pat. This Bill's blend is pretty darn good. It reminds me of, of an aromatic I've had before. And I'm trying to place what which one it was that it reminds me of. It is a very mild. Uh, yeah. What's interesting is it's got a lot of vanilla topping in it, casing topping, whatever it is. But uh, it's not goopy at all. Not not at all. Um, What's it called? Tom Bigby and a Riverboat. Tom Bigby is really goopy. Um, and you gotta lay that stuff out and let it dry for like a week. No, <laughs> it's not a week. But, <laughs> but it's uh, it's pretty goopy. And a Riverboat's a, a little sticky. It's, I won't really say goopy so much, but uh, this this stuff is not goopy at all. But still, it still has a pretty good top in order. But it's nice. It is a... It is a very nice mild smoke. Um, this is definitely something I could see myself smoking in the fall when it's kind of cool and crisp too. I might have to get some more of this. Another thing I was going to mention to y'all, I've been thinking, especially since we're, we don't go out of town a lot. We don't travel a whole lot, uh, partially because of our work schedules and, and just other stuff going on. But, uh, got me to thinking I need to find me another another uh, pouch or a way to carry my pipe stuff oh uh, I've had this one <clears throat> this is just a little cheap one pipe uh, got your little one one pipe uh, you got your um, you know down here in the bottom but uh I need to find something, something different. Um, eventually, I want to get me, get me a pipe bag from Dark Fired Leather. But uh, right now, I need to just find something that's a little more cost effective. I guess <laughs> something a little cheaper to throw my stuff in. But uh, I've gotten to that point in my my piping journey where I want to, if I'm going overnight, especially, I want to take more than one pipe. Um, I haven't even tried to put this one in here yet. I'm sure it will, but um, I guess if I pulled the stem off of it or anything, it would be definitely going there. Anyway, um, but I've gotten to that point, especially if I'm going somewhere overnight, I want to take at least two pipes and at least two blends with me. Um, this is good if you're just throwing one pipe. I, I use this when I go places, um, especially, I've mentioned before, my Peterson 86 is usually my, my grab and go pipe. Um, I've recently turned that into my pipe for vapors, but if I'm going to be going somewhere, um, you know, for the day or something, I'll, I'll still throw it in here and, you know, take whatever I'm going to smoke with it. But yeah, I can always clean it out and run a few bowls or something through it and get it back to where it needs to be. But, um, but yeah, this, this will do the one pipe and, you know, throw your little baggy blend in here. But, uh, yeah, I want to find something that I can put at least two pipes in and a couple blends to take with me, and you know, lighter and tamper and so forth. But uh, this will be going with me tomorrow. Um, might end up packing another pipe and another blend or something in the side pocket of the duffel bag or something. But uh, this this is the one I usually, you know, keep on me in my pocket. So uh, if you have any recommendations for a affordable. Uh, pipe bag that I can at least put two pipes in and a couple blends let me know down in the comments if you don't mind eventually I'll get me one of them dark fired leather uh, bags
feel like my stem's a little crooked on this thing. Yeah. Well, maybe not. Yesterday morning, <clears throat> we, we got a mouse in the house yesterday morning. Um, we've been we've been in this house now about a year and a half. Never seen a mouse. Um, we have our pest control people come once a once a month just as a you know preventative, and um, they've never even seen any evidence of mice, even out in the shop. <clears throat> but uh, yesterday morning, the cat was after a mouse in the house, and fairly certain uh, we open the, the back sliding glass door a lot of times in the mornings and the cat will come out on the screened in porch and you know in the afternoons and um well do the same thing you know shut the, if it ain't too hot shut the air conditioner off just have the back door open and um it's actually open right now but i'm fairly certain that's how it came in and about 20 minutes later i had gotten out of the shower and uh, the cat was out on the porch and seemed to totally care less, so I'm thinking it ran back out. Our uh, pest control lady was just here a few minutes ago, actually, and she wasn't seeing any evidence of mice or anything, so I think that's probably what happened. You know, I'm from the country. I'm used to having mice in the house, but uh, she's a city girl. She's not used to that. <laughs> the wife that is, not the cat. Um, you know, she's a city girl. She's not used to having mice in the house, but I grew up in the country. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, my mom would open the dishwasher a lot of times and there'd be a darn mouse in the dishwasher. You go out to feed the horses and we used to keep our horse feed in these <clears throat> big, you know, trash cans, like metal trash cans and everything. And uh, it's crazy how mice can fit through the smallest little spaces, but sometimes you go out there to open, take the lid off to scoop some horse feed out, and you'd have a little field mouse running around in there. But of course, the wife started freaking out a little bit yesterday morning, thinking we had a mouse problem. I said, no, you'd know if we had a mouse problem. Got a little bit of rain earlier this morning. It looks like it's trying to trying to clear off at the moment. A little muggy out here, but uh, I think it's supposed to cloud back up and rain again later. May not be so bad if a breeze came up all of a sudden, but it looks like it's just pretty stagnant out here at the moment. Tell you what, this this stuff is pretty darn good. <clears throat> I might have to get me a uh, might give me some more of this and jar it up. I don't I don't do arom ar yeah, aromatics a whole lot lately, but uh, like I said, every now and then you just kind of get in the mood for something like that and. It's definitely a good, uh, as I say, a good dumb reach if you're not really sure what to smoke. And... <clears throat> anyway, I don't want to bore y'all too bad. I didn't have a whole lot to talk about today. I just wanted to kind of jump on here while I had a few minutes and say howdy. And... Oh, I was going to say... Um, as I said, I got my got my tub of Carter Hall, and uh, my box come in yesterday. And uh, normally I wouldn't if I have a issue, or whatever. I don't I don't like to bash companies or anything, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it because they did make good on it. Um, I had uh, made a purchase off of Pipes and Cigars, and I don't ordinarily order from Pipes and Cigars for a few few reasons of my own but uh 
I was being cheap the other day and I noticed that the, the Carter Hall was a, like a dollar cheaper, I think it was, on there than it was smoking pipes. And uh, I put together an order. I I'd, I'd got a couple of things for the wife and uh, got my Carter Hall and stocked up on some pipe cleaners and so forth. But uh, I got my package yesterday and, you know, every once in a while they'll split your your uh, shipment into different separate packages so when i was going through the box i said i'm missing something and i'm only missing one thing i surely they wouldn't have put it in a separate package and then of course my wife reminded me she said well it wouldn't be the first time they've done that so i was like yeah maybe that's what it is well i got to thinking on it for a few minutes and <clears throat> i went back and looked at my delivery notification email and everything and it says items in this shipment and i read through it and it was everything I ordered except for the one thing. So I couldn't find anything that said that there might be another package. So uh, I picked up the phone and I called, I called uh, Pipes and Cigars and uh, asked them, I said, I got my, got my package today. And I said, there's an item missing. I said, now, if it's, if it's in a separate package, I haven't seen anything about that. So the guy pulls it up and he said, no, sir. He said, everything is uh, in the one package and he read off the list. And I said, well, I'm missing, uh, I, I, it was another extra 10 of a, a Scudo is what it was. And uh, I said, well, the Scudo didn't make it into the, into the box. And he said, well, let me check with the warehouse. So I guess at the warehouse, whatever, they confirmed that everything was in the package. And he said, well, it shows right here that it made it into the box. And I said, well, it may have made it into the box, but it didn't make it to me. So uh, he put me on hold for a minute and and I thought, you know, people probably call all the time and try to pull one over on them and uh, trying to get something for free. And I said, that's not what I'm doing. So they're probably not gonna do nothing. So he comes back on the line and he said, all right, sir. He said, uh, we're gonna launch an investigation. And uh, he said, we're gonna, uh, find out exactly what happened here and make sure it doesn't happen again. And I said, I said, well, hold on. I said, I ain't trying to get nobody in trouble or nothing. I said, I just want what I ordered and what I paid for. And he said, oh, well, he said, I know. He said, but that's, we need to make sure it don't happen again. And whoever's responsible for it needs to be held responsible. And I said, well, okay, that's between y'all. <laughs> but uh, he said, I'm going to uh, go ahead and put in an order for a, another 10 of your Escudo. And he said, it'll, it'll be there uh, in one to three business days. And he said, well, is that acceptable for you? And I said, well, yeah. I said, I'm not in no hurry to get it. I said, I just, you know, I paid for it. I want it. He said, well, we apologize for the uh, inconvenience. And he said, it'll be shipped out tomorrow. So uh, I will say their customer service is uh, very helpful and uh, obviously resolves my issue. But uh, yeah, I mean, ordinarily I don't, I don't order from uh, pipes and cigars, but uh, that's just my personal preference. Uh, not saying they're a bad company or anything i just ordinarily i don't order a lot from them but yeah at least they make good on their uh with their customer service they they remedied the situation so i have no complaints there um yes it should have been in the box it shouldn't have if it said it was in the box it should have been in there but uh um i noticed that it was the box was kind of poorly taped um almost made me wonder if at some point the box had come open and then they retaped it but I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't think somebody would have popped it open and took something out of it and then taped it back up, but who knows? But anyway, um, just wanted to share that with you. So I got a few things to do around the house here. Uh, probably need to try to run a load of laundry. The wife went to the, had a doctor's appointment and uh, had some errands she needed to run. So I'm gonna try to throw some laundry in and start thinking about getting ready for the trip tomorrow. But I hope everybody has a good weekend, and I hope everybody has a good Friday. And uh, I reckon we'll see you next time.